Hello everybody, welcome to Donna Games where anything can happen and welcome to this little tutorial for you and this is how to make a green screen under $10. Now with the society what we're dealing with we have to go through life and some people just can't afford things and you know what I've been there I know what it's like. So if you're trying to make a green screen and you're just like I can't afford it, I can't do it, why can't I do it? Well. I'm going to give you an idea. So right now, right behind me is my green screen. And what I did was a long time ago, I made a green screen that was literally under $10. And you know what? Guess what? It still works. So right behind me is my green screen. And I'm on my regular webcam right now. So you're going to see me in complete full thing. So this is what you're going to have to do. So if you want to make a green screen out of $10, you're gonna have to work at it. So I don't mean like work at it like, oh my god, I gotta kill myself to go to job. No, no, no. What I mean is, you got to put some work into it. As in, right behind me is posters. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, posters. How does that work? Well, here's go. At Walmart, they actually have green posters. I actually have some right here. Right here. See that? That is a green poster. Right there. Now you can get these at Walmart. They only cost, get this, a dollar. This is a dollar. That's it. What else you're going to need is some clear tape and some scissors or a knife. Be careful with the knife, obviously. If it's sharp, you know, you could cut yourself, obviously. This is what I have right now. This is my setup. I have my posters right on my wall. I have one, two, three, four, five. Now, here's the thing, when you do these posters, you want to put the tape on the back of the poster. Once you get, so basically you want to get it so it's on your wall and on your background. Now, unless you want to get like a, a poster thing and just do it that way, you can do it that way too. So once you get all your little things up here, so what do you want to do? I'm going to take this one down because you're going to see what happens. Okay, I take this one down. I have tape on both sides. So what you want to do is you want to put the posters right next to each other, okay? And always put the tape on the back so it stays on the wall. You also want to put tape up here, 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 and here. And also once you get the thing on the wall on the poster, you want to put the tape right here, right in, in between. Now, if you just leave it like this and don't put like a layer, you're going to see a glare in your green screen. That's why you cut out another piece. That's why you just buy like maybe like seven of these. You really don't need seven. You probably only need like five. But just you know, just in case you want to get some extra slack. So I'm gonna take a little extra slack, put tape on the back of it, and just cover up your little tape marks. Right there. And you know what's gonna happen is your green screen, your your camera is going to pick that up and you'll never see the outline. Also with this side, I you can see on this side too, I got one, two, three little patches. And with my green screen, that works. Now the ones on top, you don't have to worry about because you're going to be lowering your camera. I mean, if you want to put the green screen higher, you can. So that's basically what I did. I know I've seen these YouTubers. Uh, I've seen a whole bunch of YouTubers about uh, green screens and green screens. And green. I've never seen anybody do this. So I wanted to help you guys out because I understand I was like to struggle. I I, I I want to see I want to see a good green screen. I want I want to see, but I can't afford it. I understand. I get it. So this is my way of getting a green screen, and you know what? It actually works. So if you guys have any questions about you know what do you have to do with this, please put in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to answer you. So if you're using Streamlabs OBS, you can see the green screen right behind me. So what you want to do is when you get into Streamlabs OBS and you have your green screen all set up and ready to go. Alright, so you can see there, there's a little bit of a... Where is it? Right there. You can see something right there that's messing up the, uh, the green screen a little bit so it, it might screw you up. So what you want to do is once you get to this part, once you get your webcam up on this thing, you want to take this box right here, hold the Alt button, L A L T if you don't know what that is, which I don't know if you did. And scroll upwards a little bit. So that now it's gone. And you want to bring this back down. If you have any other because normally when you do this, you'll have you'll, I'm sorry, you'll have like white or up here. 
let's say it's like this, okay? Let's say it's like that. And you're like, oh no, I can't do a green screen. Well, same thing with the other one. I'll take this, hit the old button, and go down. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna shrink it. But I'm not doing that because I want my camera going downwards like this. Because my green screen's up there, so. So now I have all this. Now, if you want, you can make the green screen as big as you want when you have these posters. So you can go like this. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, how do I get rid of the green screen? Well, that's, that's very simple. It's just go into a video capture device, you right click, you go to filters. My, I already have mine, so just let you know. Go to filters. So what you wanna do is hit this little plus button. And you're gonna go find chroma key. And it'll be right there. Hit done. You're gonna see your black, your screen behind you disappear like that sometimes you'll be glitching it'll probably look like this now if it looks like this take your similarity and just bring it up a little bit enough, 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 until it gets almost perfect like that you can adjust these settings as much as you want lighting is very very important if you don't have any lighting um, I have a light right behind me. I can actually turn the camera on. Watch this. Whee! I have a light right there. Uh, it's not on right now. I got it from Walmart for like 35 bucks. And you can light your whole background. Especially at night, it works really nice. But remember, the different lighting is going to change your little settings here. So I'm going to do something good. Okay, so. But I have to get rid of the same. With this part right here, where you're on right now, does not reflect what's on Ah, I'm moving everywhere. It doesn't reflect on your regular camera right here. So if you want, move this to the right a little bit. Once you're done with that, just hit done. And then you can adjust this as much as you want. You can bring it down. You can bring it really, really small if you want. Or you can bring it really high and you move yourself a little bit. And there. There you go. Green screen right behind you. Nobody can see anything, there's nothing, no little particles or anything sparkly or nothing like that. And it works. It just works. <laughs> I sound like from the guy from uh, uh, Bethesda. It just works! No, that, that doesn't work. But this actually does work. And if it does, please give me that big thumbs up and I uh, really appreciate it. If you guys have any other questions, uh, like I said, put in the comment box below and I will help you out as much as I can. I am still new at Streamlabs OBS, but these are the things that I've looked on the internet. I mean, I have looked at over YouTube after YouTube after YouTube video on different settings and stuff like this, and this is the best one I have found so far. So, once again, guys, hope this helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up, hit the share button to help other people out. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah!